You know this, the opioid epidemic is making headlines daily, getting a lot of attention and for good reason. But in its shadow, another drug, and it's found inside medicine cabinets, it is taking lives. Gilma Avalos shows you why even recreational abuse of Xanax and other benzodiazepines is no party. This is a different kind of adrenaline rush. Right, yeah, it definitely is. It's 21 year old Josh at the midway point of his addiction recovery, taking it one step at a time. I'm to the point where I'm done running. For 30 days, the treehouse in Scurry, Texas will be home. His drug of choice was marijuana, but he admits to trying Xanax recreationally, sometimes with alcohol. What he remembers most is not remembering at all. Everything started giving out, and like pretty soon, I, I don't remember anything. I just hit the floor. Benzodiazepines, known by the brand name Xanax, Ativan, and Valium, are widely prescribed to treat insomnia, panic disorders, and anxiety, and widely available in medicine cabinets across America. You need to treat them just like you would treat a loaded gun to keep them locked up. Glamorized in pop culture. Their recreational use is becoming mainstream. It's extremely prevalent in Collin County. Grace Ralston works with teens battling addiction at the Collin County Substance Abuse Program. It's not your typical drug dealer with the twisted hat and saggy pants and past criminal record. They're kids who have never been in trouble before. The high mimics intoxication. With alcohol, it's a dangerous cocktail that slows down the nervous system, leading to blackouts and loss of consciousness. But even on its own, Ralston says the consequences are serious. Young people have committed some pretty major crimes under the influence of Xanax, not remembering what they did, but were caught on camera doing it. Over the last three years, calls about benzos from patients under 21 to the North Texas Poison Center have increased, and data suggests that in Texas, benzo related deaths have also increased. For one of Ralston's clients, the addiction proved deadly. This teen had jumped in front of a moving vehicle after using Xanax. After just a few scary experiences with benzos, I realized right away, like, nah, this is not something, like, this is really going to mess me up. Before struggling with addiction, he was a good student, had college offers. Since I've been out of high school, I have nothing to show for myself. But he's here now through adventure therapy, Ready? rediscovering a natural adrenaline rush, <laughs> letting go of his past and focusing on his future. I want to try and help other people. And that way they don't go down the same road that I went down. And important to note, this group of drugs treats legitimate medical conditions. However, abusing them can lead to addiction, from seizures to convulsions. Quitting cold turkey is not an option. The withdrawal can be life-threatening. So if you or someone you know is struggling with this addiction, please seek, seek professional help. Yeah, it's an eye-opening message and yeah. a warning for so many people, Gilma. Thank we appreciate so that, and we appreciate his vulnerability. That, I'm sure, was not easy. Oh, we're so grateful he yes. opened up like he did. Thank you.